All right, guys. All right. Go ahead and get started. Josh, you're on screen. Kick it off. Arthur, after you um, look, went back and looked at the tape, what did you think of the offensive line play? Well, we didn't really do uh, much well at all. It was the, you know, the entire offense, Josh. Um, when you get into too many obvious passing situations and we had to adapt to some things and you're sitting back there, it, uh, it, it can make it hard at times. We got to do, do a better job all the way around. What, do you, what can you do schematically to help them? There's a lot of things. I mean, the, the biggest thing is that this is what, what happens. And, and obviously we played two pretty good teams back to back and um, clearly hasn't been good enough, but there's, there's a lot of things you can do. But when you're constantly creating self-inflicted wounds, the, the pre-snap penalties, you're, you're in second and 15s, you know, first and 15s, um, certainly makes it hard. So especially when you're playing a really good team, to overcome the, those odds over and over in a game that's going to be field positions critical when you're playing a team like New England and the style they're going to play. Um, you know, they won, won the field position battle. And when you just sit there and you start the game backed up, your second uh, snap, you have a formation issue, which, you know, it is what it is. I mean, that's that's on, that's on us. And then you put yourself back. You know, you go from third and three. Those are the little things that add up over time stall out drives and then you get to a point in the game the way things were going and if you get in a pure drop back game you know, it's a pretty good defense you get kind of the results that we got yesterday as a former offensive lineman do you find yourself your mind migrating to that position more than other things or are you past that now do you, do you find no, yourself you hanging that. out with them in practice? You, no you're past i mean you got to consider the the entire offense what the issues are and there's always a, there's a matchup issue you got to be smart about every week i mean it's the nfl there's good players on both sides of the, of the ball uh every week and you gotta you gotta figure out what issues you need to try to protect and things that you can do to try to, to exploit and so obviously the last two weeks we haven't done much of that so. do you let all right there we go yeah coach um <clears throat> Is any uh any help with people coming back, Calvin, Matt Gano, or, or Carterell that could help screw some life into the offense? But yeah, we need a uh, just checking in on Calvin if there's any any update too. There's no update. Um, there's no update there. Uh, there's no update on Gono, um, CP, Patterson. So we'll just take it take it day by day. You know, like I said, he, he wanted to try to see if he could go yesterday, but that doesn't, you know, we'll see how, how it plays out in the next week. Okay. Uh, that's all I have for now. Michael. Hey, Arthur, uh, just a couple of questions for me. First, on the third down play where Gage and Sharp ran into each other, what yeah. what what happened there? Where was the situation? Well, it's not a design there, Michael. So yeah. some some uh, social media of Vince Lombardi, you know, breaks it down like that. Clearly, we were stacked. Uh, Rob Depp was was wrong by one of the players. Yeah, I know. We, I mean, as bad as we've been offensively, I promise you, we didn't design two guys running into each other, but it happened. And the illegal formation that was called on the field goal, what explanation did you get from the officials there? Yeah, at the, uh, where we were lined up at the tight end, um, he was too far back. Uh, again, it is what it is. I don't think that's you know, been called since 2017, uh, but you can see why they called it, I guess. So they called it. Appreciate it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Tori? Yeah, just a couple for me. I I know that last night when we were talking about the the game, you're talking about it's you know it's the offense as a whole. But when you kind of looked on the tape and you kind of look at the pressure that the Patriots had, what kind of did you take away from um, protection and kind of what needs to happen moving forward with these guys? Well, there's a lot of things. I mean, they you know they sat back and which which we figured well, they're gonna make you earn everything, and that's what's frustrating when you get in a game like that, and, and it shows that you know. We got a ways to go when you're playing a, a, a team like that. I mean, that's that's what's the frustrating part is the things that you. It's hard enough to beat good teams, but when you're when you're sitting there and you hand them things and 
and I'm talking about the pre-snap stuff, the self-inflicted wounds. And I'm talking about the penalties that you get holding. Those happens, penalties of aggressions. Um, that's what the Patriots have feasted on for 20 plus years. And that's what's frustrating. You know, you, you prepare, you understand the environment you're going to go into. And then, like I said, a lot of, a lot of things in life are easier said than done and to implement it. Um, yeah, it's pretty frustrating. And I thought the defense fought and played pretty well yesterday. And we haven't put a game together uh, recently with all three phases playing because they gave us a chance and uh, we didn't take advantage. I know stats usually don't tell the entire story, but kind of when you look at the last like couple of games, I think it's three for 22 on third down sure. conversion. I mean, what what kind of does that stat play into this offensive performance over the last couple of games? Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, there's no way to, you know, there's some stats you could manipulate when you pick it, but clearly it's, you put those kind of numbers in back-to-back -back weeks, that's why you get the results you, you've gotten. So, um, you know, everything's on the table. We'll do a lot of self-reflection over this weekend, use it as a, as a mini buy and come back. And I promise you this, we'll, we'll come back and all we care about is finding a way to go beat Jacksonville. And that's the, that's the journey of the season. Charles? I realize it's early in the day after a, a late game, but uh, do you know any more about uh, Matt's uh, toe? I, I don't, but I, I don't think, um, you know, I, I think we'll be all right, but we'll have to see, see how the next, you know, four or five days progress. You've given um, some different guys looks at running backs the last two weeks, and I know you explained the, the short week uh, as, as being the reason for Gallman's usage sure. was Sunday. But can you uh, say what you saw from uh, Quadri yesterday and and yeah. and your 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 plan going into the Jacksonville game at running back? Well, you know, as we get into the game plan there, Charles, we'll, we'll figure out who we want to play and, and where. But it certainly uh, Quadri ran the ball hard and he ran well and had had his moments and uh, that was good to see. All right, anything else? D led. Yeah, D -led. Yeah, Coach, um, I know you just got to get ready for Jacksonville, but um, any thoughts on, on the NFC South um, as you all try to move forward and, and get in the hunt here? Uh, you know, here's what I'll say, d -led. You know, you you get to 4-4, four four, you come off a big division win, and then you go down and, uh, like you said, you, you play Dallas, and then I'm sure we can come back and play New England. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's about as rough as you could you could feel after you know the, the emotions of getting back to four and four and then really what i say is you know we deserve to be where we're at we haven't played well enough and we played two really good teams and you and you're sitting here in this moment you're like all right you're four and six and it feels what it is but you have that perspective to say hey we got seven games to go and we're gonna we're gonna swing at it and all that matters is you go down to jacksonville get back in the mix and that's the truth so I mean, thankfully, we're not in a, you know, one and nine hole here. So it, it feels bad, and I get it, and I get the frustration. And, and, and like I said, you got to own it. We we clearly have not played well enough the last two weeks, but it's not like it's all lost because we got we got tough guys here, we got the right coaches, and we'll come back and we'll put together a plan. We'll go down to Jacksonville, try one a football game. Thanks, coach. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, I just have a couple more. First, what did you think of how Darren Hall played last night? I mean, like, uh, you know, he, he did some decent things. There's some other things that, like most rookies, plays that, you know, he wishes he had back. But uh, he competes. I mean, he's – I think he's got a chance. I mean, I, I like Darren. And, you know, we've played a lot of different guys since Isaiah's been injured. And we've tried to play by committee and depending on the game plan and the matchups. And last – as far as the offensive line goes – do you have enough maybe in the depth department to create competition to push some of the guys who are struggling right now? Or do you kind of have to almost roll with, with what you got at this point? They all options on the table, Michael. And that's a, you know, a, a lot of skill positions. I mean, you're, you deal with, the, I mean, like you're dealing with injuries, you're dealing with things, people out um, and you got to find a way. I mean, that's our job and that's our charge. And, you know, you can rationalize a lot of things and make excuses, but, I mean, this is pro football. We got to go. We got to play better, and we got to go down and, and focus and, and find whatever we got to do. We got to find a way to move the football, score points, and go win a football game. Appreciate it.
Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Arthur.